Hi guys, so today we're going to make some sweet potato soup and uh, this is actually really thick and creamy and uh, it's easily customizable with the spices that you use. So the only thing that you're going to use is sweet potato, plant milk of your choice or coconut milk if you want it a little bit creamier and a bouillon cube and uh, spices. I use a variety of spices in mine but you can actually just adjust this to your liking. So um, if you want to see how I make this, then just keep on watching. So I'm usually too lazy to peel these. So I just cut the skin off. And uh, I have two pretty big sweet potatoes. It's about a kilo of sweet potato all together. Okay, so I peeled on my sweet potato and then I have some water about to boil. So I'm just going to chop up one veggie bouillon cube and put into the water. And then I'm just going to chop these up a little bit smaller just so they boil a little bit faster. So this again is just some boiling water with a bouillon cube in it. Uh, I like to use a few different spices for this, so I don't really use measurements a lot, but I will for this video. So we're going to be using one teaspoon of tandoori masala. One teaspoon of garlic powder. About half a teaspoon of onion powder. some correct black pepper I'm also using some coriander and some cayenne pepper for some spice and I mix these together because I don't know if I will be use all of the spice. So I make the spice mix, and then I can add however much spice I want. And then I'm actually going to add a little bit of turmeric as well, just because it's good for you. I don't want to pour off all of the stock, just some of it. And I'm gonna add some soy milk. This is the light version, but that doesn't really matter. And uh, you can add however much milk you want, just depends on how smooth you would like it. Mix that in and then keep going. I just take a spoon, stir it up a little bit, give it a taste. Add 
some more spice. So I just added the rest. So this is a pretty thick soup. If you want it to be less thick, just add more milk or even some water. I have some extra spice here from last time I make this, made this, so I'm just going to keep going. some dried chili flakes to the top. And a touch more cracked pepper. 